Hello, welcome to my channel and welcome to another YouTube video. Thank you very much for clicking on today's video. If you do enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around. So in today's video, I am prepping for my holiday. So I'm gonna be getting my hair done, doing my nails, my eyebrows, packing, I need to do a bit of shopping. And I thought it'd be good to bring you along and show you what I do to prep for my holiday. We are going to Devon, so it's a UK holiday. I am going to have a bit of breakfast, get ready and then get the day started. So let's get straight into it. quickly straighten my hair um, just to show you at the moment so my hair is currently to here basically I'm just getting a trim so I'm I just like a very blunt cut so I'm just having a quick trim I've not had my hair cut in probably going on eight months I think and these ends need a good trim um, so I'm just gonna have the ends cut off so it's not going to be a dramatic cut this time so all ready to go um, and then after I've had my hair done I'm going to go to Primark, Boots and a few other places just to grab a few bits and bobs before we go on holiday and I also need to get some food shopping ready so, so let's get going my hair is done I've just had a good trim so the ends are nice and blunt and all my dead ends have gone now so I'm going to drive to Safford where our nearest Primark is and grab a few bits so let's carry on with the day. <laughs> Anyone else have to turn the radio down when they come into a car park because I do. I cannot park if there's music on. Um, get the chip and let's find a space. It is lovely and quiet in here this morning. Um, it's Tuesday at 20 past nine, there's no one else here. I've just come in to get like pants and socks and jammers and bits and pieces but I always end up coming in getting really distracted and leaving with a full bag full. <laughs> I try not to get too distracted but I'll show you a few bits and pieces that are in. They've got some lovely shirts in. This is a beautiful one to just chuck over some jeans with a little collar and they've got it in pink there. And then they've got some really pretty designs and details. This is a lovely pink linen shirt. That'd be really nice for the summer just to throw over again. Just as a little jacket. And then they've got some lovely embroidered ones over here. The detail on that is lovely. I just had to show you the selection of blazers they've got in here as well. I am loving this gingham print one. That is gorgeous. It feels really good quality. It's got lining on the inside and that is £23, 
which they've got the matching trousers for. It's somewhere in here. I love that. And they also have this spotted one over here. The quality is not so good. No inner lining, but again, love that. And that is £15. Look at the selection of nails they have in here. Oh my God. If you are into glue on nails, you need to get yourself to Primark. I was going to grab some shampoo and conditioner from Boots, but I've just seen these in here. They're 250 mil, but the packaging is really grabbing my eye. So they do the Nourish, Smooth and Sleek, Colour Protect, and volume boost i'm going to pick some of these up they're only for us to use on holiday so i thought it'd be good to give them a go for one pound each bargain so before i go sorting all this stuff out i thought i'd show you what i picked up so in the end i went to primark boots and b&m so i'll start with boots first i picked up some Deodorant, I got the Mitchum Flower Fresh and they had a third off this. Yeah. I'm going to quickly run through everything because we've got loads to get through. So I picked up some deodorant, I got some Cymex cream, I got the Love Hearts Imperial uh, Shower Gel to take away with us. I got some pressed powder, I just got the Collection pressed powder and then I got the Natural Collection brow pencil in dark brown. I also picked up some clear mascara which I use as my brow gel, I'm running out of that. And then I got some Carbon Theory, um, it's the charcoal and tea tree oil cleansing bar so I use this to wash my face every day. From B&M, as I said, I'm just going to quickly run through everything. I'm going to apologise in advance. This is um, sweets and chocolate and stuff for us to take on holiday, so it is a bit of a junk food haul. Um, so yeah, so I'll quickly run through everything. So I picked up a four pack of Monster. I picked up some Malibu Factor 30 Sun Cream. We're running out again, being hopeful that we're actually going to have some sun on our holiday. Some paracetamol because everyone needs paracetamol. So. The junk food we got then, I absolutely love these Haribo rhubarb and custard sweets and they were three for a pound I think, so I picked up three packs of those. Squashes because they're mine and Dan's favourite. Some Haribo Tang Plastics, again standard. Then I got some Dairy Milk Bars, Milky Way Crispy Rolls and some Toffee Crisp. So that's all of our junk food. Herbie um, loves these stay. <laughs> I not no. Herbie loves, as you can tell, these tripe filled bones. This is Herbie's collection for holiday now. This is Herbie's junk food, which is why he's so interested. So I picked up two of those bones for Herbie. We got him some treats to take away with us. No, not yet. I've got to show everybody. I've got to show everyone your toy and then you can have it, okay? Right, I'll show you this. We've, we've got a duck. Say we, I got a duck. Let me take the tags off then. To be safe. Sit then. And sit. Four. Oh. oh, good boy. That's him sorted now. Picked up some dentist sticks, another little squeaky toy for him to play with, and very interesting, we needed a scraper to fill in the wall with, so I picked up one of those. Now, moving on to Primark. As I said, I think in an earlier clip, I ended up spending £60 in Primark, which I only went in for some underwear and jammers. So quite intrigued to go through this bag now and figure out what the hell I spent my money on. <laughs> so let's, let's dive in. So as I said, I needed some pants and I love the ones from Primark. Is that nice? Do you like your toy? So I picked up some pants. I needed some new bras, so I got this three pack for £8, which is a bargain, and it's got white, pink, and black, which are the perfect colours that I needed. So this is the theme of I'm still on track here, I'm buying what I need and not getting distracted. I picked up some sliders for Dan because 
Herbie Tudor's last pair, so he needed some sliders for holiday. I picked up some baggy t-shirts. These were actually from the men's section and they're just, I've got a plain white one and a plain black one. So literally I just shove a plain t-shirt on with some shorts and it's nice and airy and cool for going to bed. So I've got those. There's nothing else up here for you. There's nothing else up here. You take your duck and you take your duck into your bedroom. Good boy. I picked up a white vest top and a black vest top. These are brilliant basics just to shove on underneath things. So I picked those up. I picked up some bobbles. Again, don't particularly need any, but you can't go to Primark without picking up some bobbles. Where's your duck? Then I grabbed some toothpaste. This was going to be something I needed to pick up from Boots, but I saw this and it's charcoal toothpaste, which I've heard a lot about. Charcoal is supposed to be really good for whitening your teeth. So I thought we'd try that. Then I grabbed again, I think I did another clip of me showing these um, shampoo and conditioners. So I got the Nourish one. I got two shampoos and two conditioners. These were only a pound each. One pound for 250 ml. I got some after sun. Again, hoping that we're actually gonna have some sun. Hopefully we don't get burnt, but this is just a great thing to put on just to help soothe. I got the double coverage matte foundation. I've been excited to pick this up to give that a go. I got some nail files because I'm going to be doing my nails in a minute. I needed a new shower poo so I picked one of those up. I thought I'd try some dry shampoo and then I picked this up. It is just a blue gingham shirt and while I was in the men's section picking up Dan's sliders I saw that they had this and it was reduced to five pounds so it was half price. I then picked up some black trainer socks and some white trainer socks because they're just perfect to put underneath. And that is everything I picked up from Primark. But that was everything I picked up on my shopping, my little shopping adventure. So now what I'm gonna do is take my makeup off. I'm going to tint my eyebrows. So I pluck and tint my eyebrows at home. So I'm going to do that. And then while my eyebrows are on tinting, I'm going to get my nails done. So we're now in my bathroom. So I do apologize if it is a little bit echoey, but I'm just about to do my eyebrows. So this is the current state of them. They are an absolute mess. I'm hoping you're gonna be able to see from that angle, um, but it's pretty tricky when I need to get close to the mirror and also have you in the view, so. But basically I take these little eyebrow scissors, so they look like this. I've had them years, I should probably get some new ones. Um, I think these were just from Primark and basically I trim them, pluck them and then tint them. So let's get started. <laughs> to pluck in. I just use a normal pair of tweezers. I love these with a the unicorn and I've had them ages. So I tend mainly to pluck underneath. There are a few like on top that end up dotting that uh, pluck few from but I don't tend to alter the top of my brow. I just end up mainly doing around this area where my arch is. So I've just splurged a bit out, but I use the Just For Men in dark brown, and it's actually, it came with a comb attachment, and it's what the men use to comb through the beard when they start getting greys. Um, I don't use an eyebrow tint, this works perfectly fine. It's a lot cheaper than eyebrow tints out there, so yeah, that's what works for me and has always worked, so. And I just use a angled, small angled brush like that. I basically dip it in the product. And then as I say, I don't do it precisely. I literally just whack it on. So I go on holiday in two days time 
three days time. We leave in three days, um, which is why I'm doing my eyebrows now because I like to leave them on for a good amount of time to make sure that they've all taken. So as I say, I'm gonna leave this on while I'm doing my nails. Oh my dear, that was a big splodge. Which my nails are probably going to take me, wow. My nails are probably going to take me about 30 to 40 minutes and I'll leave this on for that whole time. Um, so I like to do it a couple of days before my holiday because they will come out quite dark to start with. Um, so that then by the time I go on my holiday they've calmed down a little bit and I don't look like I have two giant slugs on my face which is always a great look. Okay I think we're done for the pimp. Wow. They are beautiful. I keep on scaring myself when I keep on glancing in the mirror and seeing these brows. They are still going strong. Um, but I'm ready to do my nails now. I've picked these two colours. So I'm going to go for white. I don't know if it's going to focus. White and then just a thick glittery pink, which I'm going to put on my ring finger. I hope you're going to be able to see all this, but we need a base coat and a top coat, and then I've got my two colours. going to wipe the last bits off and finally my nails are complete I'll show you what they look like I can finally take these eyebrows off because they have probably been on for about an hour now which is not recommended I've never left them on this long so I don't know what they're gonna turn out like there we go so I've got a little glittery finger there, and my thumbs are glittery, and then the rest are white. So they're done. Let's go get these slugs off then. Now time for the truth. So for this, I just take a large cotton pad and the Estee Lauder Gentle Eye, Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. This is what I mean, I don't get any staining around my eyebrows on the skin and I've had that on for over an hour now. They are quite dark so I'll leave them to, um, over the next couple of days they'll die down a little bit so by holiday that'll be great. Okay, we are nearly there. So I have my list that I have been ticking off as I've been going along, I've laid everything out onto the bed and the windowsill and made sure that I've got everything ready. So yes, yeah, so I'll run you through what I've packed. Okay, so starting over here, as you can see on the windowsill. So I've got some paracetamol and ibuprofen because we're, well, standard, yeah, take those wherever you go. Um, then I've got some sun cream so i've got ultra sun 30 malibu 30 which is the one that i bought today and then some after sun that i bought today just in case here i have a poofy for the shower some shower gel for us to use um and then the shampoo and conditioner that we bought that i bought today as well and a razor for me 
Then here I've just got some wet wipes. I don't use wet wipes to take my makeup off, but I do find it handy just having some whenever we go away to the beach and um, stuff like that. Then I have this is what I use to take my makeup off. If it that's better. If you don't know, get to know. This stuff is amazing. It's the chamomile um, cleansing butter from the body shop absolutely amazing it melts everything off there's no hard scrubbing or anything so that is my holy grail then i have my soap which again i bought from boots today because i needed a new one and it's the charcoal soap then here i've got my toothbrush and the charger for it just in case i will charge it before i go away but you never know and again the charcoal soap that i bought earlier so that is for that um i've got my hair towel which i use on my hair when i come out the shower and then in here so i've got um jewelry that i'll wear on the morning as we go down but then this is just extra bits of jewelry in here and i put it in my glasses case just to make sure that it stays safe on the journey so that's extra bits of jewelry that i take here i've got some deodorant some lip balm this is a factor 31 because i have very sensitive lips so that is needed i've got my vaseline my cymex cream which is like a very m deep extra moisturizing one so i put that on every single night um this is my estee lauder night repair and then i've got some eye cream some perfume and my uh cream here I've just got some extra toilet rolls just in case and then over to the hair side of it I've got some argan oil heat defense leave in spray the dry shampoo that I bought earlier and some clips and a hairbrush and comb to take with me now moving on to <laughs> the clothes clothes and shoe situation I do not know where to start with this so if I bring you ho over here, in here I've got my makeup bits. This is where I keep my day-to-day -day makeup, so I'll be taking that away with me. I've got my hair dryer and my straighteners. Obviously, they're needed. I also use my straighteners to curl my hair, so while we're away, I'm not going to be packing another curler. I'll just use those. Then I've got my jammers here, socks pants and bra so that is the underwear pajamas, and hair situation sorted over here we're going to take away some games we've got some normal playing cards phase 10 um, which is like an american card game that dan introduced me to it is amazing then we have um beer pong and this is like the child version of frustration which we're not children but <laughs> we still love the game um but we tend to make it into drunken frustration and end up shot in every time we get someone home but anyway never mind um so those are the games we're going to be taking away then here are my bags so i've just got this little chain over the shoulder bag um and then my calf kidston backpack which i'll be taking then this is the little pile that I've got ready for Herbie. So that's just his towel, his travel water bowl and some lovely poo bags in there. So these are some jumpsuits. It's just a black burgundy one and my denim jumpsuit. For tops, I've got this wrap around top. Then we have this like sunflower strappy top, which was from Matalan years and years ago. I've got a gray little vest top, a white vest top, a black little vest top, a black long vest top, and another black top. So I think we are good on the top situation. <laughs> uh, over here, I've got a blue lace dress, a white t-shirt dress, and then a red strappy dress. Coming round, so these are the jumpers I'm going to be taking. So I've got a cropped grey one there, a super dry um, hoodie, my black pretty little thing sweatshirt that was in a recent haul video so then moving on to shorts i've got these denim shorts my white cotton shorts that are in a recent haul as well along with these leopard print shorts and some black cycling shorts so those are all the shorts i'm going to take then here i'm going to take a blue denim skirt my black jeans 
there i've got some summery pink jeans i love those they're mom jeans some polka dot um culottes and some jogging bottoms then here i've got my black gingham shirt and the blue one that i bought today from primark and then last thing up here is my red waterproof coat coming back to here so this is the outfit i'm going to wear in the morning that we go so I'm going to take my black denim jacket, which I thought will go with a lot of outfits. I've got a white t-shirt, my Adidas leggings and my Vans because I want to be extra comfortable in the morning. My Vans are very comfortable and I know that I can drive in those easily. Um, and then that's a lovely comfy outfit. So that's going to be my travelling outfit. I think the only thing I've got to show you now are the shoes. So I was originally going to wear my Air Force Ones with my travelling outfit, but they're not so comfortable because they're quite bul bulky. They're not so comfortable driving. Then these are my slip-on sandals, which again were in a recent haul from June. I've got my Ted Baker flip-flops. I normally wear these when I go on the beach because they're like patent waterproof. Then I'm going to take my new Desperate Drills, I thought I could just put them to good use and try them with a few different outfits that I've got just to mix up the shoe situation. And then I've got my sliders. So as I said, hopefully I've taken you through everything. If I have missed anything or you want to know where anything is from, then please leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. But other than that, I think we are done. So I just need to pack all of this into a suitcase now. Oh, it has been such a long day and I am so exhausted, um, but we're nearly there. We are nearly there. So I'm going to get on with packing all of this into my suitcase and then I'll pick you up in a bit and see where we're at. So this is how we are looking. So my suitcase is on the right. I've got a bag on the top with all of our skincare and games and stuff. My outfit on top for travelling in. And then Dan's suitcase and he's still got a bit more packing to do so he'll have another bag as well. As I said earlier there will be a few things that I'll pack on the morning and a few things I'll pack the night before but we're done. We are ready for holiday. Oh my god what a long day today has been. I'm kind of glad it's over and it means we are one day closer to holiday. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me, doing my nails and the eyebrows aren't looking too bad right now but at least they'll calm down a bit over the next few days. We're all packed and we are all excited to get going. I'm going to leave this here because it's probably been a really long video because I've filmed the entire day and yeah. If you enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up and if you want to stick around for the actual holiday vlog because I will be filming when we're away, then don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when I've uploaded. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!